guys, this is Ethan from Jingle Mining. Today we're going to review a very exciting miner, the Ghost Shell XT Box. This is the first ASIC miner released specifically for the SHA3X algorithm and targeting the Terry currency. Its estimated earnings are reached to $70 per day. That is crazy. And with a payback period even crazier, 30 days. And once released, is expected to surpass the CPU or FPGA miners by tens of times in terms of uh, computing power per unit and highlighting the advantage of ASIC miners, right? So in this video, we will include a comprehensive review of this miner and including its actual performance in terms of computing power and energy consumption and and a setup material, and also a uh, how's the machine's temperature, the noise, the cooling efficiency, and profitability. So, let's get started. First, the hash rate advertised on Gold Shell's official website is an outstanding 580 giga hash with a power consumption around 400 watts, um, plus minus 5%. And I will run the machine. Uh, shortly to see the actual data and as for the appearance it looked like this and the design of the XT box is the same as the Gold Shell AE box series having the same look and it requires an um, extra power supply and the fan is located at the front and along with the power and network cable interfaces and while the back features a Wi-Fi uh, signal booster. So yes, this is supporting like wireless mining and uh, reset button also right here. And it's, it is very compact. You can put in basically anywhere. Okay, so right now I'm about to teach you how to set it up. If you guys don't know, it's pretty easy. So the first thing you need to plug in the um, uh, power cable and also the network cable, which is this, plug in. And now you need a power supply, which is we also sell from the on the jingomining.com, and also this unit, about basically every unit. <laughs> Remember, go to jingomining.com. So the power supply, this a gold shell XT box requires like um, two cables in the power supply, but it has like multiple cables, like six. So this one power supply can support three of this Gold Shell XT box. Imagine, right? That kind of pr daily profit and you run by like multiple machines. It will be like decent money, right? It's already on. You go to the IP scanner on, the, uh, on your PC. If you don't have that app, you need to download it before you um, setting the machine up. And after you found your uh, IP address of your unit, you need to copy it and then uh, to the browser and put it in. And then now you are at the back end of your Gold Shell XT, uh, XT box. And now what you need to do is configure your mining pools, which is right here on the left, miner. And then you can see right here, it says pool settings and then add. And here uh, it suggests you to use the DX pool and the lucky pool. And normally I, I use DX pool for myself. And then you need to put in your, um, the miner name, which is your like the username or your uh, wallet address. Uh, usually I just put in my uh, wallet address, but to make it simple, you can just put your username of your DX pool and then apply. Okay, and now you can, can see that the left, this uh, little logo right here is gray, right? So you need to wait about a couple minutes till it's like green, then it means your mining machine is running. Yeah, it's just that simple. Okay, so when it's running, you need to go back to the dashboard. Right now is like 585.59 giga hash. And, uh, oh, it's the average hash rate, sorry. Um, the current hash rate is down right here. 
And this little unit is also targeted as a like home miner, right? And what's most important for home miner, of course, it would be like the temperature affection and the noise level, right? You don't want putting something like really affect your daily life, something like that. So now I'm going to test the noise and also the temperature. And first, <clears throat> this miner has been running for like 10 minutes right now. So it's like running at its full force. And I'll put this like uh, test thing away from like, uh, I don't know, one meter, right? Maybe put it like right here and then show you guys. Okay, and three, two, one. Okay, can you see that? Like right here, 42, right? 42.5 decibels. Like really nothing. You can't really, I can't say it's like uh, absolutely quiet, but if you like, um, I don't know, 10 meters away, you can barely hear it. And now let's do the temperature. And also because it's the like extra uh, power supply, so we still also need to um, include the temperature of the power supply, right? But, for, but after all, the most heat is generated by the unit. And I will use this to point directly at the back end of the unit. Did you guys hear that? Okay, so the back end of this, the exhaust of this unit is around 50 degrees, but it doesn't really show how, how it's gonna affect your room something. And also it depends how big is your room. But for my experience, it's really nothing, not that big deal. If you're, if you're living in like a very hot area, right? You can just uh, like uh, open the window, then you can barely sense anything. And if you live in the like cold regions, you can just <laughs> use it as like free heat. The power supply is barely, barely anything. Yeah, you can't really, doesn't really matter, like 30 degrees. Pretty good for like a home miner, right? It's, it's not gonna, definitely not gonna affect any of your daily life. All right, and now let's take a look at my unit, which has been running for like seven days now. And we go to the browser and putting the IP address of my unit, which is this. Okay, and right now I'm at the back end of my unit, and you can see right here the Gold Shell XT box. And you see it's online for even nearly eight days. You see, like seven days, 23 hours, that's long. And also, right here, the average hash rate, that's like the most important things, like directly determines your profit. You know, the average hash rate, which is even even above the standard, the standard which is like uh, 580, right? And because you only have like one uh, chip board, so it only shows one, which is all. And uh, here's the hash rate. Right now, the current hash rate is 576 giga hash. The temperature, the chip temperature is 60.6 degrees. And and all those things. We go to the DX pool and see how am I doing there. So here, it shows the current uh, statutes of the mining pool. And um, that's pretty even like more important than the like uh, actual backend, you know, because it's dominates your profit. Uh, also, you see right here, the current hash rate of my unit will be 558.33 giga hash in the mining pool. And um, it's already being paid um, here for like eight days, which is like, Jesus, 166,489.0705. And for like one day, 24 hours being paid for uh, 20,300. 2.3065 um, terries. So let's do a calculate. 
which is here, okay. So we already know that for like 24 hours, for one day, the Gold Shell uh, XT box is paid for like uh, 20,000 like uh, terries. So it's about 20, uh, let's put in this number, yeah. 0 0.3065. And for one terry, for now, it's, let me see, like point zero zero three four three three. So we use this amount of the coins times the price per one, right? Which is point one, uh, no, point oh oh three four three oh. And so, are you guys ready? And for one day, the Gold Shell XT box will make me around $69, which is I mentioned in the beginning of the video, right? Its actual daily profit is $70. Okay, and that's pretty it for the video today. And let me know how you guys think of this Gold Shell XT box in the comment. And but personally thinking, you know, uh, once it's released, once this miner is released, imagine how many people will like mine the Terry with this. So for now, you might think, oh my God, seventy dollars per day. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. When you like really. Get this machine by you, on your hand and start to mine the terry with this the coin price might be go down like 99% it will be down so your daily profit might not be that high by then even the coin price will be down it's still a very very decent profit I guess so it just depends I mean and everything is risky Right? Just um, see if you guys want to take it or not. But personally thinking, I might actually buy one. And if you guys don't know where to purchase anything in the world of mining, you can always feel free to visit our official website, jingomining.com. We are a leading global supplier of crypto mining hardwares and related stuff. So you can trust us with confidence. And I am Ethan. I will see you next time.